Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to Fat Burger. It says Buffalo's on the side, but I think up there it says, I can't really tell. But anyway, I'm um, going to Fat Burger. They've got a couple of uh, limited time offers, uh, items I'm gonna try out. So uh, I'm gonna take you through drive through with me and uh, we'll see what we get. Yeah. I'm sorry about your weight. You can go ahead whatever you like. Um. Yeah, I want one of your uh, just the crispy chicken sandwich. One crispy chicken sandwich. Uh, comes with lettuce, tomato, and mayo. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Is that a meal? No, just the just the sandwich. Just yeah, the sandwich, bro. And do you have um, do you have the pickle fries? We do. Um, want to order of those, and then an order of the funnel cake fries. And the funnel cake. All right. Can I get you anything else? No, that's it. What's the name on this? I'm Kevin. All right, Kevin. It's going to be eighteen fifty-two at the window. Thank you. Thank you. Not too bad. Very friendly. And they had the two items. The two items are the uh, pickle fries and the um, funnel cake fries. So those sound really good. The funnel cake fries come with a like a chocolate dipping sauce, which sounds really good. And the pickle fries come with a um, um, a ranch dipping sauce, which also sounds really good. I like a good fried pickle. So anyway, there's a car in front of me that's been here at least as long as I have, which has been like, uh, what, seven or eight minutes? And uh, nobody's come to the window. I mean, I'm assuming he's already paid, but he keeps looking in the window and looking around. It's like, what's taking so long? What's taking so long? Um, at least you know that it's fresh. But I do have to say, this restaurant, this particular location at least, is not very busy at all. There is nobody behind me in drive through. It's 12 30, so it's definitely lunchtime. Um, there's nobody come up behind me in line. There's only like um, three cars in the parking lot, actually employee-wise. Oh, there's somebody. Nope, they're coming around. Um, there's only like three, three or four like customers like eating. I think there's only like two employee cars back in the back. So um, yeah, this is just not a. This is not a hopping place. It makes me wonder. This used to be a steak and shake before it was a fat burger. And um, it didn't last. It went out of business um, because they just didn't get the business. They just, just nobody ate there. So I'm wondering the the suspicion of, I mean, it is just a weekday, but it's still, it's lunchtime. Normally it's really busy. Um, makes you wonder how long they're gonna hang around um, to be here. So anyway, I'm, I'm going forward right now, I think. Yep. Yeah, please. Appreciate it. Have a good one. You have a wonderful day. Sir. You too. Definitely took a while. Um, I'm just going to pull through. They have a nice little pull through for the parking lot. So I like that. You can loop around. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. All right. So here is the uh, funnel cake fries with the chocolate sauce. The um, pickle fries with uh, ranch sauce and a chicken sandwich with um, it's lettuce and mayo and I, I don't know what else. So I'll, I'll look when I get there. So anyway, this is the meal. Uh, I got a story to tell. I'll tell it when I turn this around.
Okay, so let me tell you the prices real quick before I tell you my story. Let me close these um, funnel fries up so they won't get cold. Colder. I don't think they're cold. No, they're not. They're still hot. Anyway, um, so my total. Ah, here we go. Uh, the chicken sandwich was seven twenty nine. The pickle fries were five dollars and nine cents, and the funnel cake fries were also five dollars and nine cents. So my total before tax and everything was seventeen forty seven. Of course, you have to add. Um, your local sales tax if you have it. So my story, um, I um, came out to the car, started getting everything out for a picture. No ranch, no chocolate sauce. So I had the fries and the and the chicken sandwich and everything, but no no sauces. So put everything up, uh, ran inside, um, had to wait for the, the lady. There was only one lady up front anyway, taking an order. There is more people inside, by the way, than I thought. There's like five or six tables taken up, so it's better than I thought. Um, so anyway. So I had to wait for her to finish taking an order, asked about the sauce. She went back there and looked, came out with the ranch and said, I can't find the chocolate, um, but here's the ranch. And that may be why, maybe they're out of it. And I'm like, but could you go back and ask just to, um, just to make sure, because I really, you know, didn't want it if I didn't get the chocolate sauce. So she rolls her eyes at me, walks back in the back, like I'm putting her out. There's nobody waiting, it's just me. And um, so she goes and then she finds it. It was just on a higher shelf than she was looking. So anyway, just know, sometimes you get the eye roll when you go in places. And I was nothing but nice. Um, here's a pickle fry. You know what? I should have tried it. Come on. Don't go anywhere. Let me try it without the, the ranch first. It looks like just little strings of pickles with breading on them. Hmm. Let me try that again. I was trying to pull just the breading off. I will get it. Oh, here we go. It's these little string of pickles. That's what it is. Hmm. Not bad by itself. It's not as um, it's not as strong a pickle flavor as like the slices, like the the pickle slices that you get that are fried. These are smaller, really good crispy outside, and you do get a little bit of that dill pickle flavor, but they're not as um. Pickly is like say, um, um, Joel's hot chicken has really, really good pickle fries. I mean, uh, pickle fried pickles, they're chips, um, they're really good. Really good with ranch. Those are good if you're looking for a really strong like pickle flavor them, I think you'll be disappointed because they're, like I said, the pickles are so uh, thin. They give me some napkins. Um, the pickle pieces are so um, thinly sliced that um, you don't get a lot of the pickle flavor. You get a little bit, but it's not very strong. So just, just know that uh, if you like a light pickle flavor, but a good crunch, I think you'd really like that. If you want something a little more, um, um, Pickly, then um, then you're going to be disappointed. So the chicken sandwich is looks like chicken, mayo, and lettuce. Um, yeah, I think you can get cheese if you want. Um, you can get tomato. You can get all kinds of different stuff. But this is this is the standard. And this, this, the regular, this is the crispy version. They also have um, a grilled and they also have a spicy Cajun. I just wanted the regular. Pretty thick piece of chicken. A lot to eat, sorry. Um, the flavor of it tastes like like a piece of fried chicken you would get from like um, any fried chicken place, but not like the extra crispy fried chicken, just the regular fried chicken. But it doesn't have the seasonings as like, um, like Kentucky Fried Chicken has a lot of uh, the spices and stuff going on for it. This one doesn't have a lot of spices, it's just fried breaded chicken. Um, I don't even see a lot of spices like sprinkle on here, but you can see um, it just looks like fried chicken, a fried chicken breast or whatever. Hmm. 
it's not a bad piece of chicken, but uh, or a bad chicken sandwich. But if you're really wanting some, um, like a lot of flavor, like a lot of seasoning and stuff, you may want to try the spicy. I don't know how spicy it is. It might be um, really, really hot to where you wouldn't enjoy it. I don't know. I didn't get one, so I don't know. I can only speak for a regular chicken sandwich. Chick-fil-A, Popeyes, um, KFC, um, pretty much all the other places. I think Arby's even and, and Wendy's has a better chicken sandwich than this. Um, it's good quality chicken. It's just this flavor is just not, uh, they don't have any seasoning on it. It needs to be um, seasoned with some, you know, really good seasoning. And it just isn't. All right, so let me try these funnel cake fries. The good thing about, uh, good or bad, um, counts on how much you like them, um, the that's a very runny sauce the pickle and the funnel cake ones are limited time so if you don't get them now um i don't know how long they're going to be out so um it said fair food so i'm assuming it's going out, out for like the summer so it may it may actually go away um soon chocolate's very very runny I like the texture of these. And normally I wouldn't eat a um, funnel cake with chocolate. Normally it's just the funnel cake with the with the white uh, powder, powdered sugar. You know, even with all that powdered sugar on them, they're not super sweet. I would not eat it with the with the chocolate sauce. I'll try another bite, but it's almost bitter. I do not like the chocolate sauce, so she could have just left that back there. Who would have known, though? Um, they're okay. Usually, most funnel cakes have a, a little bit of a, just a hint of cinnamon in them. These literally just taste like um, like the just a funnel cake, just like a, a, the, like a pancake dough um, or batter just fried. These in texture, they're kind of small. Hmm. they're very chewy um you can definitely tell they've been fried and they're very but they're very very chewy they're not um i mean some of them are fluffy pieces but most of it's just kind of dense and chewy i'm trying to figure out if i like them or not i think those are another one of those they're okay but they're not like awesome um they're not bad the um the best thing here by far is the chicken sandwich and the chicken sandwich is kind of plain um the pickle fries i like the pickle fries i wish they did have a little bit more pickle in them so the, the flavor was a little bit stronger the whole thing overall i hate to say is i usually don't do this for most fast food restaurants but everything here kind of gets a three out of five for me it's just kind of a middle of the road kind of average um if I were to score each one of them individually, that's like, if you got this exact meal, it's just mediocre. Overall, I would give the pickle fries probably, um, you know what? I'd probably give everything here a three by itself, honestly. Um, the chicken sandwich, I may give a little bit higher, maybe a three and a half, probably not a four, but a three and a half because it does have a really good fried chicken flavor. But uh, beyond that, it needs it needs a lot of seasoning on them. Um, the... The pickle chips just aren't strong enough pickle flavor. You're wanting pickles if you're getting pickle fries, right? Um, and the funnel cake is just, I don't know. There's just not, there's just nothing going on there. They, I mean, they're sweet and they do have a little bit of that funnel cake flavor. The chocolate sauce is horrible. It's not any good at all. But, um, but yeah, out of the bunch, I'd probably get the chicken sandwich. Probably a good time, good thing these are limited edition because I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend you buy either one of the, the pickles or the uh, funnel cake. Um, the chicken sandwich, like I said, I would try it maybe with the um, the Cajun, and maybe it has more seasoning to it. But overall, it's just it's just an okay experience. So I hope you enjoy this, um, hope you enjoy this video, and I'll catch you next time.